the first official day of summer, but it's also National Eagle Day. They're majestic creatures considered a symbol of our nation and even included in our official seal. And as we celebrate the National American Eagle Day, we also want to bring awareness to the need to protect these birds of prey. To share more, John Howe, the executive director of the Raptor Resource Project, joins us live via Skype from La Crescent, Minnesota. Good Saturday morning to you, John. Hey, good morning to you. All right, John, can you explain just how major the importance is behind National American Eagle Day? Yeah, just think about this. Uh, um, our national symbol, which uh, everybody really admires, the bald eagle, uh, think about uh, to the point where we really only had uh, several pairs of them from northern Minnesota all the way down to Illinois along the Mississippi River and almost, uh, almost gone from a good majority of the United States except for up in Alaska, uh, for that to happen, just a, a, a terrible thing, uh, um, primarily due to DDT and the effects of the thinning of the eggs, um, a huge conservation success story of people coming together, passing laws to ban the use of DDT, uh, and, and that along with years of work from researchers and other scientists helping to bring the eagle back. So uh, a huge success story. Uh, with the Endangered Species Act and, and becoming delisted back in 2007, uh, just a marking of that success. Well, and now it's hard to find anybody who hasn't seen an American Eagle. They're almost everywhere across our country. And how has the Raptor Resource Project working towards recovery of their natural environments? So the Raptor Resource Project, we primarily, with the respect to the bald eagle, it's a huge education program. Uh, that first uh, really, really popular eagle cam back in the late 2000s uh, showing the decora eagles uh, has been an unbelievable education tool uh, for people across the world and especially this country. Uh, just learning uh, what goes on in the eagle nest. It's uh, we're watching the, the live cam and, and chatting with moderators who know about eagles and learning about the lives of bald eagles is a really interesting thing. And a lot of classrooms and a lot of kids and a lot of grown-ups uh, really love watching the eagles and learning more about them, our national symbol. So what are some of the best learning opportunities that these eagle cams provide for people to be fascinated by and even learn more? Yeah, so, well, just watching and the sheer enjoyment of watching their life cycle as one, uh, uh, we, along with others, we got the National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota, uh, and, and others, uh, uh, lots of eagle cams across the, the country now. Um, there's resources on our website and others where you can actually go through teacher prepared learning plans. And we've opened that up to the public now. So people, you know, any family can go to the Raptor Resource Project website uh, and look at those lesson plans and learn about the eagles. Uh, the, wa just watching the Eagle Cam is, is really a huge learning experience. Uh, we have mo live moderators uh, that uh, will chat with folks and, and answer their questions and things like that. So with, uh, with watching the cams on the Raptor Resource Project site and then explore.org where we show the decor eagles, uh, that's, that's just a great opportunity to do that. And really quick, John, we've got about a minute left. Give us an interesting, lesser-known fact about eagles that maybe none of us have heard about. Yeah, so uh, um, I guess you know probably one of the biggest ones is uh, I'm looking at the live cam right now, and we've got uh, one of the eaglets that's just about ready to fly, just about ready to get its freedom, right, uh, yeah. out of the nest the first time of its life. The adults, when they become an adult, uh, they don't really get that that full white head until they're five years old. So. So that's one, one big, big component of a bald eagle. It really doesn't look like a bald eagle until it's an adult at five years. Another thing too is, uh, you know, talk a, lot, a lot of talk about eagles mating for life and that, that uh, is true to a certain degree. Um, if, if a, we've seen this happen, if a mate uh, dies or, or something happens to it for some reason and still some problems can happen, terrible things can happen from lead poisoning, things like that. So if you lose a mate, uh, um, they will, another one will come in to fill that position. So, oh, how um, cool. Facts there.
That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. I didn't even know that they didn't uh, turn white until they were uh, five years old. Well, we would like to thank you, John Howe, for joining us this Saturday morning. That's the executive director of the Raptor Resource Project for joining us in the morning. If you really want a good laugh, Kelly, check out that Eagle Cam. It's amazing. I love the Eagle Cam. I love their eyes, too. I'm just mesmerized looking at them. All right, we go.